What's up, everyone? XA Gucci23 here, and I'm back with this another video. Alright, guys, I'm not gonna be too long with this video, though. but, uh, like I said last night, is the conclude of the uh, president uh, elect, where uh, 45 will now become 47 come January 2025. But uh, also, last night, when uh, Trump took uh, Georgia. And North Carolina. Um, this is where the part where Kamala has stooped to the whole low, where she, uh, instead of trying to fight it to the end with her and her supporters, uh, she told her supporters uh, to go home. And like I said, that pretty much right there showcased that Kamala Harris is just unfit to uh, lead the country of the free world because like I said she should have been a fighter and try to fight it to the end with her and her sports but nope she told them all to go home just like that man you know what I mean leave them high and dry and uh, it's still to this day though uh, she has not came out hiding and this is why like I said man she is not the one to be uh, uh, the first woman to become president now is it possible that a woman could become president Maybe, but as of right now, uh, no. Uh, but like I said, Kamala Harrison has just proven just last night that uh, her quitting just like that showcased that she does not have the fire to be president. And, uh, and like I said, uh, the people of the United States have made the right decision for Trump to be uh, president. And it's kind of crazy, though, that the... Uh, the blue states that uh, Kamala was supposed to take, they flipped to red. So that pretty much tells you that that they knew that she was not the uh, the right fit to be president. But yeah, man, that's pretty fucked up that uh, the people that who supported Kamala do up to the election. And this is how she treats them just like that and showcase you that she does not care about her supporters at all. All she care about is just power. And um, it seems like she won't be getting that power. And uh, before I end this video, I wanted to address a individual. Uh, like I said, I love this man to death. But George, stop being delusional, man. Kamala Harrison is not going to run for president again in 2028. Because like I said, she's not going to get the opportunity to just to be handled the election like she got handled in the, the position she is at now because of what happened to Biden because now if Kamala really wants to become president she's going to have to go through the grind where she's going to have to go up against all the Democrats you know just to get back to where she was now and we all can see like I said a lot of people now seeing the true colors of Kamala Harrison and the stuff that she's doing she's not she's not going to make it she I can see her like I said in 2028 if she runs again uh, she's gonna get exit out of the the the, uh, the 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 first round because nobody doesn't want to doesn't want to deal with her anymore. But yeah, man. Um, to me, this is uh, was kind of fucked up that she quitted at the uh, after Trump took Georgia and North Carolina. And like I said, she should have you know showcased that hey, you know uh, we still in this race. We could try to fight this, but nope, she quit just like that. And like I said, that just shows her that she's just not fit to be uh president of the united states so yeah um like i said stay tuned to the channel uh more is coming peace and love i am out